Hello beautiful people, welcome to yet another exciting episode of Beyond the Music Show here on No Limit TV. Once again, my name is Queen Krama, you know, I'm your host as usual. So in case you're tuning in for the very first time, this is the show where we get to bring the brightest of stars in our city. You know, we read PH here, and of course not just PH, I mean the stars and people we bring here, they cut across not just PH, you know, they cut across Nigeria, Africa and the rest of the world. So um, it's always an exciting um show um we talk about a lot of things but basically things that are music related so here you get to find out some of the things that you might not have known about your favorite celebrities all right so i'll be going on a quick break when i come back i'll be introducing my guests so we recently checked out Club Euphoria, a good and chill spot to hang out, eat and vibe. They have a spot bar, executive VIP lounge, a night club, lodging accommodation, shawarma and grill spots. This one is all in one and they are located at 33B Rumola to Stadium Link Road, Potak. Welcome back to Beyond the Music. Once again, my name is Queen Krama. And uh, before I introduce my guests, do not forget, of course, we're talking to you from the beautiful sports bar here um, at Club Euphoria. So in case you're looking for a chill, cool, you know, cozy place to hang out with your loved ones and friends, definitely check out Club Euphoria. Now, back to the business of today. Now, uh, I told you, on this show, I bring the brightest of stars, you know. I know they bring you here, people become the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, my guest today is, first of all, she's a musical artist. She's a musician, you know. She has been in the game for a while now, you know. And um, she's amazing. She's a lyricist. She's a vocal powerhouse, you know. She's very beautiful and very, very captivating, you know. Um, I know you must have seen her perform, you know, seen her online, when she's looking hot, you know, oh, or at an you. event. But, you know, <laughs> I brought her here today, you know, so that, you know, she can tell us a little bit about herself. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it's my utmost pleasure to welcome the beautiful, elegant, and captivating mm. Kella K to the show today. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, welcome, Kella K. Thank you very much. You look beautiful as usual, of Thank course. You. Okay, so in case you do not know, Kela's birthday was a few days ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let me officially wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> okay, so um, happy belated birthday. I Thank hope you, you had fun on your birthday. Of course I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, welcome to the show. This is Thank Beyond you. the Music. Um, we talk about music, you know, and you have been in the music game for a while now. But first of all, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Mm -hmm. you know, your personal life, maybe family, you know, just uh, things that we don't really know about you, you know, the okay. celebrity part of you, yeah. Okay. Okay, so my name is Kella K, as you all know, but my real name is Ezekiela. So okay. I got that Kella from there, by okay. the way. <laughs> yes, so I'm the last born wow. and graduate, studied linguistics and communication. University of Port Harcourt, that's Uniport. Wow. Um, what else? I'm from Delta State, by the way. Okay. It's so cool. Okay. It's so cool, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's a little about me. Okay. So, are you single? Are you in a relationship? Is it Please, complicated? Can you just take that out? <laughs> <laughs> Leave that one for me personally. Just, just well, your male fans may want to know now. Mm. Mm. Mm, just, just, just allow that. Okay. Because of our birthday just passed, let's just hello. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, let's move on. Mm -hmm. So, tell us how you started singing you know how you got into music okay i've always loved music yeah i mean i always sing i've always been that singing girl but okay. um i really wouldn't say i thought about it this way okay. i just knew i had to think for music and i think when i was in school i was singing in church and i met legendary sonny most people don't really know the story but okay i met sonny and one of the days in school, he's like, oh, this is our little one from church, yeah? Okay. And of course, he, kn he knew about my whole music, love for music. Okay. And he's like, he'd like me to do a recording with him, a cover of Running, Beyonce. Yeah, yeah I, don't know if you I think that. I remember that performance. Well, but it was yes. at Uniport, I think, yes, or yes, theater. we had mm. like several performances yeah, there okay. for that exact song, okay. Running. And after running, I think there was one other one we did, Magic. Okay. And then he goes, Okela, like so many people want to hear your own song. Like they want to see you do your own thing. They want yeah. to 
just see what you can offer, right? What you can do. So I'm like, okay. I said, then I, I've never written a song before. It was a bit okay. difficult. I'm like, I didn't know where to start from. Yeah. Okay. So it was crazy. I picked up a pen, a paper. One of the days I was alone at home. And I think it was after church here, so on a Sunday. And I'm like, okay, where do I start from? I didn't know what to do. I had to check my phone for picture, write all, and mm -hmm. all that. If I could, but I could come up with nothing. But the only thing that was entering my head was baby girl, baby girl. I'm like, ah. What am I doing with baby girl? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so that's that's like the first line. Baby girl, I call myself. Okay. Yeah. And from there, I just continued and I was able to come up with something. Okay. And that's how I wrote the first. I was super excited. I reached out to Sony immediately. I'm like, oh, Sony, I did it. Mm -hmm. I wrote the song and it was like, I was so happy. And he's like, okay, we're going to do a recording immediately. And okay. then that's how I just went to the studio, did the recording. And I think that was it basically. Wow. From there. It was a bit difficult okay. afterward. Like I didn't know how to drop the song. Mm -hmm. It was challenging. Yeah. I think for almost a year I had that a song recorded and I didn't drop it. I didn't put it out there. I, I almost gave up on the whole music thing. I'm like, yeah. okay, maybe I should just rest. Okay. Yeah. But one way or the other, I was able to. My sister Lajeni helped me. Mm -hmm. Spoke to someone, Mr. Gift Azuena, and okay. that's how we just came about the whole thing. Wow, nice. So, so far, what are some of the challenges, you know? that you face or are facing, you know, <laughs> in the industry today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, everybody will expect this. Men will always be men. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's difficult to just be, whether you're fine, whether you're black or short, mm -hmm. anyone. People would always be interested in you. So sometimes there are people that will want to do something for you and expect something else in return yeah and if you're not willing to give that it's as though it's a problem like okay i'm not willing to work with you anymore mm -hmm. i mean this happens it's not just about music yeah in different fields but that's like one challenging um issue okay. not just me but i think other female artists okay we have that's mm -hmm. that's basically it and sometimes getting a very good beat and recording my producer fitzy he's really been of help okay but i think when i started working with him it got a little easier for me okay all right, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we're going to be continuing the conversation. All right, welcome back to Beyond the Music. I'm still here with the ever beautiful and captivating Kella K. So before we went on that short break, we were talking about some of the challenges that she has faced or is facing you know in the industry and um let's just go a little bit back so okay. we know people men especially i mean have you experienced with women because usually men you know women no okay <laughs> not really <laughs> okay. so there was one sonny had his listening party okay Jerry, and i went for it there was this girl, she saw me and she's like, oh, hi, hi, hi. Mm -hmm. In my head, uh, okay, she knows Kela, and for that matter, Sonny now, maybe yeah. she knows we used to do music and all that. Yeah. And I said, hi, I was nice and all that. So later I went to sit, coming back, I think Sonny was about performing. So okay. I stood up, went, I was standing with August Chooks, yes, I remember. Okay. And then this girl poked me from behind. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at her, she blew me a kiss in a weird way. I'm like, bruh, <laughs> please calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had to leave that place anyway. I think okay. that's about it, but I don't. I'm, I'm more, uh, I think I, I stay in those more, so people okay. don't really get to see me all the time. Okay, okay. So, so do you want to tell us some of the people in the industry? Mm -hmm. You that. know, the male mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like asking for something. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, no, no. Can you no, give no, us no. a hint? Not just maybe one small hint. Oh, there's no hint. Don't worry. Don't forget <laughs> it. I'm not the only one in this. In this uh, of no, course, no, no, don't of worry. Course, don't of worry. Course, <laughs> of course. Okay. So um, tell us a little bit about um, your collaborations. You've done, you've, you've had a lot of collaborations. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And you know, tell us, talk us, tell us a little bit about some of the collaborations you have. What, what would you say is your best collaboration that you've had? You okay, know, okay. Amongst the other collaborations. Okay, so I did a song recently with, uh, not very recent, but with okay. Osi Nigi. Okay. Um, how that happened? Like I said, my producer, his name is Fritzi, okay. and I was recording one of the days, and he he goes, Osi Nigi did a song, and he like me on that song to okay. jump on the song and i'm like oh cool immediately i did the recording and he texted me later he's like he really likes it and i think that was about it for osinib yeah then daru that one i think it's almost two months now i did a song with don daru um wishing that's the title i love that song by the way okay. i mean <laughs> it's really nice yeah mm -hmm. so that's for daru 
and I did I dropped the song Mr. Lover yeah. on the 17th of May and almost immediately I think it came after the that song I dropped another not that one now was featured okay. um Jumumi is not busy in Kotaku not okay. one of us yes yeah. so he featured I am Tariq mm -hmm. Tariq is busy in Lagos mm -hmm. yeah Chocolate City and I think that's that's what I've been to of late. Okay. Yeah, that's that's my last project. Okay. One but what is your relationship with Osinigbi? Um, like, what is there? What's what? How are your working terms? Like the song that you guys made. Mm. You know, are you credited? Are you getting royalties from mm. the song? Because you know there are some things that might be flying mm. around. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's we just I just know him. He's an OEP, of course. Okay. And then, like I said, my producer told me to do a song for him. Okay. He's also working with my producer, and okay. I think that's about it. So there's no bad blood or anything? Mm, nothing, nothing. Okay. All right, let's move on. So um, tell us about what projects you're working on, working on right now. Are you working on anything? I mean, I saw you're behind the scenes with Tari Green. I think you guys are shooting a yeah, video for the music video. It's out, yeah. It's oh, out. it's out already? It's, yes, it is. Okay, so, okay. So um, that one, like I said, is out. But my personal mm -hmm. stuff, I'm doing some recordings. I'm okay. working on an EP by wow. the grace of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, so the songs are like, I'm still working. Okay. Hoping to drop anytime soon. Okay, so but this for year, now, I'm just okay. pushing Mr. Lover. By the way, okay. go stream Mr. Lover. Yeah, go stream Mr. Lover. <laughs> okay, so before I let you go, of okay. course, um, you've been in the industry and just like we say, you've had some, some challenges and all that. And I want you to talk to other female artists, you know. The ones that might want to do music or the ones that are already doing music but maybe at a very early stage you know mm -hmm. i should talk to them you know about maybe an advice you know what would you tell maybe your younger self you know what would you tell people like that okay so um first of don't stop because it has a way of affecting the music part right okay. and your audience if you give that tiny break i made this mistake once not okay. like it totally affected me but mm -hmm. and there was a reason for it okay. not like i just decided to yeah mm -hmm. so don't give that break try to keep pushing it might be difficult sometimes to maybe get a good producer or even writing a song sometimes mm -hmm. but just try you don't know the exact one that's going to be a good hit yeah. and people would actually love so just continue and men will always come whether you're an artist whether you're just a regular body or mm. person they will always be there don't get distracted you can't be with everybody so that your name mm. will not be everywhere mm. <laughs> i mean Very so yeah, yeah but just focus and don't stop that's it basically. yeah one final thing um there's this thing in portacourt here mm -hmm. you know there are artists like you Mm -hmm. It's like there's like a sex. You have yourself, legendary Sonny, Siki Boy, you mm -hmm. know, there's like a sex. And then we have this other set of now artists, mm -hmm. the likes of the Maxi, Superstar Maxi, mm -hmm. the MG Kume, um, and um, a few of them like that. So mm -hmm. I, I, w I really want to know, like, it's because it's always like there's no synergy between, when I say the young generation and the ones that were there since, what exactly is, is there an issue? <sighs> so there's no issue, if you ask me. Mm. And I would keep on saying this. Let's not forget the fact that it's just like maybe a pastor now. Mm. Mm? You wouldn't say because this is who you are. Mm. We get to forget the part that first this person is a human. Mm. And humans will always be humans, mm. right? You can have maybe two, three friends mm -hmm. right now. It's, it might even be maybe older than you or yeah. younger or maybe same age yeah. and all. But it's it has to do with maybe your vibe okay. and where you guys get to meet. Okay. Yeah, just like you said, it's like a circle. Yeah. PH Entertainment, what I just observed, is like one very entertainment, not just book comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like one very big circle. When I started, I noticed it like we we're all in one circle. Mm. But still, in that circle, everybody yeah, circle, has yeah. Yeah, segments. Everybody, mm. yes, this this is my crowd, this mm. is my crew. Mm. But we are still one. That's yeah. what I could say. Okay. We are still one. It doesn't mean I can see you commit tomorrow. Mm. We're not close. Yeah. Yeah, like close because I've performed in, I think, Two years ago, her show, yeah. I performed there, yes. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean we are close. Yeah. I don't have anything against her. She yeah. doesn't against me. Yeah. And it just has to do with maybe your vibe and yeah. the times you've met and where you've met. Yes. Okay. One way or the other, if you guys are meant to click or be friends, you sure will. Okay. But I mean, peace. Everybody's, everybody's just trying to be 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay, so thank you so much for taking our time today uh, to be with us on the show. I do not take it for granted. I appreciate it so much. You know? You're welcome. Before you go, you need to tell your fans, you know, your social media handles, how they can get to see you, see your music, you know, see your videos as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on Facebook, it's Kella K. Instagram, Keller underscore K, and Twitter, I am Keller underscore. So please follow me. Mr. Lover, like I said, it's out there. You should stream. Help my solution. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So at this point, you know, I have to run things up here. Do not forget that you can be part of this show, you know, by, of course, liking, leaving your comments and suggestions. If there's anybody you want us to bring on the high stool, please let us know. And, of course, do not forget that we have lots of beautiful, amazing episodes, you know, of different kinds of content on our page. So do well to check them out. Do well to leave your comments, likes, and shares. And, of course, do not forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel in case you want to follow us on social media on Instagram, it's no limit TV on Ninja. On Twitter, it's no limit TV on Ninja. On YouTube, it's no limit TV on Ninja. Then on Facebook, we have a Facebook page, no limit TV. So whichever social media uh, you are always, if you're on Twitter, please interact with yourself content. Whatever social media you find yourself in, just look for us. You know, of course, don't forget to drop gifts and likes. So that we we'll begin fine girls like Kim and Kate to see. <laughs> Drop is not easy, <laughs> so for us to be pulling people like this, you need to be sending us gifts, you know, so that we'll be happy. So, at this point, it's a wrap for me. Do not forget, next week yes. I'll be back on your screen with another beautiful, wonderful guest. All right, so, so next time it's bye from me and Kella. I think we should do a chase to that. Thank you. <laughs>